I'm going to be showing you all the minikit locations and how to do all the challenges in the best layered plans level of LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga's A New Hope. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so make sure you're playing this level in story mode first because the first challenge is to get through the first floor undetected. And if you're playing in free play, it's going to spawn you as a different character and you're going to get detected right away. And uh, basically, as long as you're not shooting any stormtroopers or destroying things uh, in front of them, you should be able to get through the first floor without being detected. You're going to get that cutscene, you're going to get up here, and there we go, there we got the challenge. So now we're going to restart the level in free play to do the rest of this stuff. So there's going to be a protocol droid panel straight away, so we're going to switch to C-3PO for that. And basically hack this turret to open up the door. And uh, once you get here, you're going to be on the first floor here. We're just going to make our way over here to the second floor. And uh, use a hero character to grapple up to the second floor. And there's going to be a mouse droid here. We're going to destroy that. That's going to be one of three for mini kit number one. So next up for mini kit number two, uh, we're basically going to have to go up another floor by using the elevator. So all you have to do is hit the button on that. Now we're on level three, but we need to actually get to level four. So we're just going to climb up that ladder there, which is on level three. And now we're on level four. This is where most of the content in this level is. So from here, we're looking for a scoundrel trap in the middle of the level here. There it is. And when you do this, it's basically going to give you a zip line here where you can access another area. So there we go. Once you do that, we can walk over there and there should be a switch that we can pull. And there we go, that's going to raise the zip line up for us. Let's jump across, take out these enemies, and then you'll be able to pick up this little data card here, insert it into the door that's just across from there. And inside there's going to be one of these battery power source things. We're going to pick this up and we're basically going to carry it around the floor here into this other door across the way. Open this up and then you have the secret area with mini kit number two. Next up for mini kit number three, we're going to continue from here, and all we have to do is where this uh, area with these barricades are, we're just going to jump down from there onto the floor below to get mini kit number three. And from there, we're just going to climb back up that ladder, and there's going to be a mouse droid on the fourth floor as well. Let's go ahead and destroy that, and that will be two of three for mini kit number one. And for the last mouse droid, there's going to be a wall here which you can pull down with a hero character or a bounty hunter. That's going to give you access to this secret room here. There's going to be a mouse droid in this room which you can destroy to get mini kit number one. That's all three of those. Next up for mini kit number four in this same room, we're going to destroy some of the debris just to the left as you walk into the room. And once you destroy that, you'll be able to build this mini kit number four. All right, so now from there, we're gonna go up to the area you're supposed to go. So let's take the elevator up to the sixth floor. This is normally where you go in story mode. Once you get up here, all we're gonna do is turn around, go back through the elevator and go through the other side. And out in the open here is mini kit number five. And you totally could have got this in story mode as well. So the last two challenges are pretty easy. So in this same room, we're gonna switch to a scoundrel character and there's gonna be another scoundrel trap on the ceiling. So go ahead and activate that by looking up there with the scoundrel character. And that's basically going to cause all this stuff on the ceiling to fall onto them. And for doing that, you will get challenge number two for using the scoundrel trap to take out the officers. And challenge number three is even simpler. All you have to do is destroy all the computers in the middle of the room where those officers were standing. And as soon as you destroy those, you will get challenge number three. So that is the locations of all five mini kits and how to do all three challenges in the best layered plans level of LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Dislike it if not and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time here on Quick Break Games.